Waltzing in and out, understanding the phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating aspect of English expressions. The phrases, waltz in, and waltz out. These phrases are not only interesting but also quite common in everyday English. So, let's dive in and understand what they mean and how to use them effectively. To understand these phrases better, let's first look at the word, waltz. Traditionally, a waltz is a type of dance characterized by its flowing, graceful movements. It's smooth and seemingly effortless. When we transfer this idea to the phrases, waltz in, or waltz out, we imply a sense of ease and casualness in the way someone enters or leaves a place. It's almost as if they are dancing in or out, without any hesitation or difficulty. When someone says, he just waltzed in, it often suggests that the person entered a place in a very casual, confident, or sometimes even an inconsiderate manner. It can imply that they didn't wait for permission, or they entered without acknowledging potential barriers or formalities. This expression is often used in scenarios where more caution, respect, or formality was expected. On the flip side, waltz out typically conveys leaving a place with the same ease and nonchalance. For example, she waltzed out of the meeting, suggests that she left the meeting without much concern for its importance or for the reactions of others. It often carries a connotation of disregard for the situation or the people involved. Let's see some examples to better grasp these phrases. One, waltz in. He waltzed into the office like he owned the place, not even knocking. Two, waltz out. After the argument, she just waltzed out of the room, leaving everyone in shock. These examples show how these phrases can be used to describe actions that are somewhat bold, carefree, or even rude. I hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and usage of waltz in and waltz out. Remember, English is full of such vivid expressions that add color to our conversations. Stay tuned for more interesting English language insights. And don't forget to waltz into our channel for more learning. Happy learning and see you in the next video.